In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to get a simple Java servlet running. And because we're going to be doing a lot of configuration, I've gone ahead and written the program already because it's very simple. We can go over it line by line here very quickly. So the first thing we have to do is import java.io.star and javax.servlet.star. Our class is called Hello World Servlet. Hello World Servlet is a class that extends the generic servlet class by implementing the main service that all servlets have to implement, and that's the service. So you'll notice that the service method takes two parameters, a request, which is a servlet request object, and response, which is a servlet response object. That's again given the interactive nature of a web page, the client server part of that. And it throws two exceptions servlet exception and I.O. exception. We're not trying to handle those exceptions in this example, just to try to keep things simple. So the first thing we have to do inside the service method is set the content type for our response object. And we're handling HTML, so our content type is text slash HTML. Then we need a way to write a response to our page. So we have a print writer object. PW, and it is built from the getWriter method of our response object. And then all we do is write out a simple phrase, hello world, and then we close our print writer object, and that's the end of the service. So that's all this servlet will do when we load it, and that's display hello world. That's good enough for a start because we're going to spend quite a bit of time right now doing some configuration, including compiling the class. So let's save and exit. And the first thing we want to do is compile the class. And we have to compile in a special way because we have to make sure that we make a reference to a specific jar file that's part of the Tomcat installation. So to compile our class, we're going to write hello world servlet.java like we normally do. Then we're going to set the class path. You could do this also in your environment variables, but I'm going to do it here just because I don't want to go through the whole process of setting it somewhere else. So the class path is our Tomcat path into our program and lib and then servlet api.jar. So the class path is c colon backslash Tomcat backslash Apache Tomcat 7.0.29. That's where my Tomcat installation is. Then the lib directory and then servlet dash api.jar. Hit enter, and it compiles and creates a class path. Now the next step is we have to copy that class file into a particular subdirectory. So here we go. Make sure I get the directory correct. And then it's web apps backslash examples backslash web dash inf slash classes. I've already got it there. Let's do it again. So we'll just say yes. And now it copies. If you need to write it down, there it is. This is easy to find in any reference. There's the jar file for compiling and there's the path to copy the class. After that, we have to do some configuration on the Tomcat side. So I've got another DOS window for that. So Either using the same window or opening a new window, go to your Tomcat installation main directory, then cd into the following subdirectory. All right, so let's do that one at a time. Like so. Then you'll see at the bottom we have a web.xml file. We need to open that up, so we're going to open it up in Notepad. And I've already put these two settings in. Scroll down until you find the section of this XML file that has servlet information. And you're going to add the following tags. So you open servlet tag, then a servlet name, hello world servlet, then close servlet name, then open a servlet class tag, hello world servlet, close the servlet class tag, and then close the servlet tag and just put it at the beginning of the servlets. When you finish that, scroll down, 
And here we're looking for servlet mappings. And we need to set a servlet mapping for our servlet. So open a servlet mapping tag, then open a servlet name tag, type in the name of our servlet, close that tag, open a URL pattern tag, type slash servlets slash servlet slash hello world servlet, close the URL pattern tag, and close the servlet mapping tag. And that gives us our configuration. So we're almost ready to go. The next step is to start Tomcat. So CD back to the Tomcat slash Apache Tomcat 7.0.29 directory, CD into bin, and then type startup.bat. And that will start Tomcat. It'll bring up a little window telling you that it's running. Next step will be to open up a browser window and then type the following 127.0.0.1 .0 .0 colon 8080 slash, and here's my example right here. And there's the servlet. So that whole URL is 127.0.0.1 .0 .0 colon 8080 slash examples slash servlets slash servlet slash hello world servlet. And that brings up Hello World, which is what our servlet app was supposed to do. If you get an error, then more than likely you mistype something in one of the configurations. Make sure the class file is in the right place and make sure that you set up the XML file the way you're supposed to. If it didn't work, go back and watch the video again. And if you go through the steps that I went through exactly as I gave them to you, you should not have any problem. That's how we run a servlet in Java. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to exercises. Rather than have more lessons, we're going to go into exercises. And I'm going to show you two examples. One that uses get requests to retrieve information from a web page. And in the second exercise, we're going to use post requests to get information from a web page. So let's move on to exercise one, where we're going to learn how to handle get requests.